We examine colonoscopy if you get rectal bleeding, bowel habit change, or family history of colon cancer. This is a normal colon wall. They include intestinal villi, which are small finger-like projections that extend into the lumen of the intestine. If you have a problem with your villi, you can get a colon polyp. What are colonic polyps? Colonic polyps are a protuberance into the lumen above the surrounding colonic mucosa. There are several types of colon polyps. You need to know what types of polyp you have, because some colon polyps develop cancer. Today we are talking about types of colon polyp, cancer risk factors, and metastasis. Adenomatous polyps. Adenomas are the most prevalent neoplastic polyps in the colon. Adenomatous polyps are not cancer, but they may become cancerous in the future. Large adenomas are more likely to become cancerous. 30 to 50% of colons with one adenoma will contain at least one other synchronous adenoma. Increasing age is a risk factor for the development of colonic adenomas. Especially high-grade dysplasia within an adenoma is a big risk factor for progression of colon cancer, independent of size and histology. Treatment is polypectomy with using forceps or a wire loop to remove polyps. Polyps that are too large or that can't be removed safely during screening are usually removed laparoscopically. Hyperplastic polyps. Hyperplastic polyps are the most common non-neoplastic polyps in the colon. Small nodules or polypoid lesions in colonoscopy. It does not appear to increase the risk of colorectal cancer. Small hyperplastic polyps are biopsied or removed in endoscopy with biopsy forceps because they can be difficult to distinguish from adenomatous polyps. Inflammatory polyps. Inflammatory polyps are no risk of colorectal cancer. Treatment is directed at the underlying cause of inflammation. What are causes and risk factors of colon cancer? One. Cigarette smoking has been associated with increased incidence and mortality from CRC. 2. Long-term consumption of red meat appears to be associated with an increased risk of colorectal cancer, particularly for left-sided tumors. High-temperature cooking, such as barbecuing, pan frying, increase risk of cancer by the production of polyaromatic hydrocarbons and other carcinogens. 3. An association between alcohol consumption and an increased risk of CRC has been observed in several studies. 4. Being over age 50 increases risk of cancer. 5. Obesity is a risk factor for CRC. 6. Inflammatory conditions such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis is associated with cancer according to the extent, duration, and activity of disease. 7. Sedentary lifestyle increases colorectal cancer. 8. A hereditary disorder, such as Lynch syndrome or Gardner's syndrome, increase colon polyps and cancer. 9. Diabetes mellitus is associated with an elevated risk of CRC. 10. Personal or family history of sporadic CRCs or adenomatous polyps of the colon are at risk for the future development of colon cancer. If you have the above risk factors, see your doctor regularly to consult with your doctor and colonoscopy.